When we had last left Harrier Dubois, he and Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi were involved in a tribunal. A great shootout had occurred in front of the whirling and rags. Death and pain were everywhere. Some of it even spread to the two of them. A lot happened. You should probably watch that video. It's pretty wild. <laughs> I'll say, it's, it gets pretty wild. But anyway, now, it was time to wander around and look for something. This is Disco Elysium. Welcome back. Let's also change out of this fucking armor, right? Let's see. What should I, what should I wear? How about... This, these shoes, get the gun out of there, get that on me. There we go. Good. And gloves. Eh, maybe we'll keep these gloves. They are pretty good, but maybe I don't want them on me. I don't know. Yeah, we should keep them on. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Idiot Doom Spiral's anorak. Shit. All right. Orb. Let's click it. Oh, God. Right. Thought complete cleaning out the rooms. Of course. What if you didn't lose your memory? What if something in Martinez came and stored it all away? For you to slowly open one box at a time so you can choose which parts to keep. Keep almost none of it. Only the flowers on the windowsill. Only the distant sound of a radio. Lose all the actors, the dark shadows. Leave only the still lifes, the blissful distant wash of waves. If everybody knew, you never did. She'll be coming soon. That is all. Plus one suggestion, wake up. Plus one inland empire, in a new life. Plus one rhetoric. By the seaside. Huh. Weird. Alright. Empathy. What's this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate, political opinions somewhere in Martinez? Oh god, what is this? What has given me this? What have I done? Oh, because I'm up to four in Moralist. Okay. You must be mistaken. I'm a real radical. That's me, Mr. Reasonable. Someone's got to keep it sane around here. This is because I keep saying none of the above to political stuff, isn't it? When did I pick up another plus one Moralist? Huh. It was during all that, too, wasn't it? What did that? I, d I wasn't even aware there were any over there in all of that mess of everything. You must be mistaken. Of course, a radical centrist in these bright and loud times where a thousand frequencies drown one another out. Sober thinking is a radical act. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's time to become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. First, where is this kingdom of conscience? No more talk. Sign me up for a passport. No, I'm too fiery for this watercolor ideology. I'm trying to develop more extreme and interesting opinions. Opt out. I'm opting out. That's a pity. Real democracy was just around the corner for Ravishaw. All the leading citizens are waiting there. Without you. Fuck that. I have no interest. Anything new here? The fans stand still. The bed? The bed's a little nicer now. You could get a good night's sleep here. No time to rest. The window? Newly replaced glass. Shining in the morning light. Motor exorb. You hear traffic outside. Back in the world again. Hey. Spinning on empty? 
This stereo 8 player has been reunited with its right speaker. Huh. Oh. Psyche orb. Look! The door is open! You can walk right into Kim's room. Tub. You see gleaming white enamel. No bottles inside. Look at ourself. The bathroom mirror has been wiped completely clean. You see the reflection of your face in the mirror, such as it is without the expression. It's just... hairy. <laughs> Let the mirror be for now. Okay. Cool. We can go in. What's in? He doesn't even have a bathroom. Or, or oh, did we share a bathroom? And he just chose not to use it or something. I wonder. All right. Sorry, Lieutenant, I'm going through your junk. The alarm is set for 6.50 a.m. Half-finished paperwork. These... Oh, my God. Could the Lieutenant have died there and then we could go through his shit? Jesus Christ, how fucking sad that would have been. This would have been. Good lord, this is in case he died, just like Ruby's fucking shit, right? In which case, she did fucking die. Fucking bleak. These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork, half finished. You make out notes on this and other recent cases. I had guard open the door to your room. He closes the notes. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. Thank you for keeping this thing alive a little longer. Point to yourself. I'm such a burden. I should just fuck off. I saw apocalyptic visions of the darkness behind darkness behind darkness. Thought I was dead for a moment. Thank you. It would have been easy, were it not for my concussion. We both got lucky, considering the odds we faced. There's a pause. Let's go. Can I look more at his shit? I am sure neither of us feels solid enough to keep loitering in this room. Let's go. This? Medicinal supplies on the cupboard. Mercurochrome, a scalpel, antibiotics. Back in ours? God, should I be running? Do you think it keeps track of that now? Or am I going to be okay? Let's do a quick save. Step... Step on Kedra, 9 degrees centigrade on a front. Anything else? Huh. Deora, 19 degrees centigrade. Clear. Okay. What's going up here? Oh. Physique. Ouch, that leg hurts. Maybe if you don't run, it'll be okay? Okay. Let's try not to run. But I've got a habit of it. Anything else new? Amazing that we still have the key. The cabinet is cleaned out. Emptied. Up some stairs. I'm sure that's fine on my leg. There we are. Good God. See a container you can't open? Equip a pry bar. Alright. The window. What did we... What happened with the window? Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Glass is pristine and utterly silent. We need to do ballistics on this. Understand where the shot came from, once and for all. Huh. Visual Calculus 4. High. 83%. Plus 1. You've heard what happened. Plus 1. Got shot. Angry. Huh. Did I skip over the visual calculus check here? Did I miss this? I don't know. Maybe it didn't appear yet? Or something? Because clear window wasn't on there before, was it? We scrolled through all of this multiple times, huh? Or am I tripping major balls? 
Shit, was I tripping major balls? What happened here? Failure, fuck me. Oh, visual calculus medium failure. No, we're not failing this. You didn't get shot for nothing. Close your eyes and open them. You can do this. You've done it before. Look around. The golden light melts away into the blue, glassy darkness of your mind. In it are two neon-lit shapes, a man and a woman on the single bed. What position are they in? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling, the woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th, and a shot has just been fired. 5 XP. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray casts from somewhere outside, entering his brain. Endurance, easy success. Ending him. Where does it come from? New task, determine where the shot came from. Visual calculus. From the roof outside, location A, prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Inspect the ghostly figures. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than the realization. Oh look, here's a map. Oh shit. One of them, the steeple of the church. One of them, the antenna. Oh, and one of them, that island we never got to. Right, of course, I forgot about that. Yeah, and there was like a... What was it, a bridge? Some kind of way to get across or whatever? Have a look at point A, the roof. Ruby ruled this out vehemently. The shot would have been heard from downstairs, where no one heard it. The likelihood of A has fallen drastically. You may be looking out. You may be looking for a sniper. The shot had to come from a greater distance, beyond A. Should we extrapolate to include every possible origin, point of origin in Martinez? Extrapolate the radius to include all of Martinez. According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an is islet? islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime. More precisely, B for boardwalk, B for Land's End, and B for the islet, detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Have a look at point B, the boardwalk. 700 meters away, the likeliest of these positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made the shot, provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have had to take wind direction into account. Man. And we know of a sniper, right? We got shot point blank pretty much by a sniper. But why would they do it? Weird. Have a look at point B. Oh, these are B's with uh, multiple apostrophes next to them. I don't know how you read that. B2, I guess. Land's End. 1.2 kilometers away. The least likely of these positions. Let's say 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it. Possibly from a tent? No, too far-fetched. Have a look at point B3, the Islet, Islet. Okay, so it's too far if the steeple doesn't work. One kilometer away, a point beyond the docks on an islet in the bay. The fort is ruined, but the perpetrator may have found a stable spot on the beaches surrounding it, where the concrete crumbles into the sea as you saw in the coin-operated viewer. Oh, right, the coin-operated viewer. 
The shot would have been a small miracle. 5% likelihood? There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window, between Rue de saint Lane, 8B, and 33A. The angle would have been extreme, and access to the easelets is questionable, but it is a possibility. What is the point of origin, dammit? It's not the roof, and had it come from the coast, you would have probably stumbled upon it while you were running around over there. This leaves... Task complete. Inspect the window in Klaus's bedroom. Gained XP, 10. The island in the bay. I think the shot might have come from the islet. He nods. It's not impossible. There is a narrow opening between the commercial area and the collapsed tenement north of it. There are ruins on that islet. A sunken sea fort. I saw... I saw it through the coin-operated viewer. I remember. He looks out the window and onto the bay. This is one of the few places in Martinez we haven't been to. So it is. Empathy, trivial success. For a second, he seems... tired. You seem unenthusiastic. Maybe we need to go to the island. Yeah, that's not going to work. There must be something else we've missed. You seem unenthusiastic. I just haven't gotten a lot of sleep these past few days. Empathy. He doesn't really believe this will yield anything. Maybe we need to go to the island? The lieutenant sighs, looking into the cold distance across the water. Suggestion medium success. He is trying to justify it to himself. Half-light medium success. He sees danger, another trap, perhaps. He must be cautious for a reason. This man has decades of experience. I don't have anything to say. This is just something we have to do, Kim. You're not afraid, are you? Kim, let's go to the fucking island! Go. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Go. Actually, yeah, let's not go to the island. No go. Huh. Hmm. You're not afraid, are you? No. I just don't want to walk into another embarrassment. I am a creature of pride, you see. There is silence. I'm afraid of becoming a joke. Volition easy success. It's not something he's proud of, but that's the way it is. This is something we just... This is just something we have to do, Kim. I understand. Endurance easy success. He will. He has it into him. He has it in him. I'm going to the island. Are you in? New task. Go to the island. Of course. He nods. Of course I'm in. He takes a second to gather himself, then says, How do we get there? Joyce Messier had her sloop, but she's gone. Lillian. The net picker. She's tarring her boat. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Let's go. Blink. Leave. Anything else? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else. Step outside. Anything weird out here now after the shootout? Good lord. Huh. Not that I can see from here. Right. Going down over this way. Jesus. Man, what a great game. Huh? How do you even follow this up, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Good luck. Footprints in the dust. You clearly see footprints in the downy carpet dust covering the workshop floor. Jackpot. Right. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, we already found these. Okay, let's head on down. But it turned out to be just circumstantial, right? The hole in the wall and everything? That could have been any pervert from any period of time. Huh? Oh shit, I shouldn't be running. My bad. 
speak with Gart. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. He looks you over. I did. Thank you. Big improvement. It could have used more work. After all, I just took a bullet for this place. You did? I was too distracted to notice. I did, thank you. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice to... Nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment from its cl and its clientele from gunfire. I give credit where credit is due, and that was a crazy move. Crazy. Effective. Petroleum bomb. Never seen anything like that. I was there until it struck him. Crawled inside then. Bullets started flying. Anyway, he clears his throat. Suggestion easy success. He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony, looking by, in the danger zone, so to say. I wish you a quick recovery. Also, he raises his finger. You and your partner are staying here free now. This establishment supports cops. The stay is free. The drinks are not, he adds. Just felt I needed to specify that. Where did everyone go? Oh, you know. He looks around at the empty place. People don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. Oh, the curse! Are Lena and Morel still in town? Ah, them. Nice people, but no. Lena said they were going back to Jamrock. I saw them pass by outside. He waves at the windows. This was before the fight started. I'm glad she got out of here before all that. Bullets flying and stuff. People inside were quite terrified, you know. I had to take action and step outside too. Okay, yes, that was for the best. But we weren't done looking for the phasmid. That nah, was for the best. He nods. Yes, you know. I went outside and took care of it. Everybody calmed down. Felt like the right thing to do. Rhetoric easy success. He's almost completely forgotten what this began with. But we weren't done looking for the phasmid. I mean, you're a detective. Perhaps you can track them down. Shouldn't be that hard. Exactly. He looks at you. But all in due time. Crypto business is not a priority right now. Inland Empire trivial success. You'll see her again one day. You know it. Things went like they did for a reason. Ooh. Is that teasing some future shit? Seeing the disappointment in your face, he relents. Oh, fine, hero cop. Lena left a forwarding address. 111.3 Tabernacle Road in Jamrock. If you see them again, do give them my best. What happened to the man with the sunglasses? He shakes his head. I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Okay, so I have to mention, when it happened, you were right out there, on the balcony. Yeah. I was, yeah. He nods, trying to remain aloof. That's because I'm a badass. Suggestion easy success. It really took courage. Don't pick at him. Yeah, I guess you are a badass. If you say it as two different words like that, it sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. Just nod stoically. Yeah, I guess you are a badass. Yeah, I don't know. He feels the need to explain himself. Clients were panicking. And also, I guess I sort of found that I don't give a shit if I die. Empathy, easy success. He means it. He's not just boasting. It's something he discovered about himself, stepping onto that balcony. Jesus. Grim. All right, thanks. <laughs> That's coming from me. <laughs> shit. All right, thanks. No problem. He looks around at the empty establishment. They'll come back. They always do. Goodbye. 
Should we go up and look at the balcony? Let's do it real quick before we forget. We're just going through old shit, huh? We can't get access to Everard either, right? None of the shit in the harbor. All of that's off limits. Okay, let's see. Titus is around somewhere, though. Where is Titus at, I wonder? Hmm. Good lord. Seven of them dead. Oh, fuck. Hey. I can actually click on this from up here, I think. Oh, no, I can't. Shit. It's in French as well. Un jour, je serai de retour. Something... Près de toi. Shit, I have no idea. <laughs> UN, that's one. One way... I... Sarai. I don't know Sarai. De retour. I don't, I'm not sure either. The... Sometimes it's the, I think. D-E? I know that UN is one. Jour is... Maybe way or go or something like that. It's some sort of action word. <laughs> Fuck. Hopefully, like, we, our character or Kim can figure it out. All right. Let's head on down. Also notice that now that shit has gone down, everything looks a little bit more different somehow. I don't know. Weird. Good lord. What would have happened if we didn't have the chest plate? Right? What the hell would have happened? Oh, hey. Look who's still here. Fuck. Okay. I swear, if this guy says it's all about the money. What's up? Oh, nothing new. Okay, bye. Is it because we weren't able to pass his check? It's all about the money. Fuck off. Who are you? It's him. He's the killer. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Titus. Good lord. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his beer in welcome. Crazy motherfucker. Didn't think you had that fury in you, but I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. He lets out a whistle. There I was, thinking, where are we going to find a tin opener large enough for those cans? Then Copo Loco shows up and just sets a man on fire. <laughs> Impressive shit, Copper. None of us would be breathing right now if it wasn't for... I guess what I'm trying to say here is thank you. He pauses, then extends his hand. Physical instrument, medium success. His hand is covered in bruises and half-plastered. Still, this hulking lump of man is glad to be alive. Authority, easy success. This is big. It's as big of a thank you as Titus Hardy can muster, and he, under any circumstances, shake it. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. Shake his hand and nod in silence. Don't shake. Look, I need to talk to you. Actually, I came to say goodbye. Shake his hand and nod in silence. 5 XP. Now how can I help you? His grip is strong and friendly. I'm sorry about the people you lost. His bruised face stiffens. Theo was old. I think he was pretty happy with the way he went. Never could under imagine him withering away on a sickbed. But Lizzie and Agnes, he gulps. They were just stupid kids. Didn't realize the shit they got into before it was too late. I feel responsible for both. For all of them, really. Empathy, easy success. Here it comes. The last one is the worst one. He only deals with it by drinking copious amounts of 8% beer. Electrochemistry, easy success. An honest tactic, and effective. And Glenn. Glenn was my friend. Best I've ever had. I loved that crazy homo like my own brother. He takes a sip of his beer. We're all fucked without him. But what do you do? 
This job is shit. Hold on, where's that shanky fella? Dennis? That poor little rat is dead too. He shakes his head. I always thought he'd run. But no, he stayed. Stupid brave fella. Suggestion, easy success. He didn't like him. That only makes it worse. They were good people. I'm sorry it went like that. We are born into this world to die, it seems. Maybe there's redemption in that. At least it ends one day. This is getting dark. Let's talk about happy stuff. I'm sorry I went like that. Well, yeah. Memento Mori, right? What does that mean? It means you die tomorrow, so live every day like it's your last. Isn't that right, fellas? Absolutely. Today I'm going to get drunk, eat good food, and get a good-looking gal, because tomorrow a motor carriage might run me over. Or you might die a heart failure, or syphilis. Hey, hey, fuck you for running a beaut- for ruining a beautiful idea. But what's going to happen to the Hardy Boys now? I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. They're bound to be some ambitious fellows who'd love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. Might even ask Tibbs if he's tired of replacing windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. He pauses. Anyway, don't you worry. As long as Titus Hardy's standing, there will be Hardy boys. Any idea what I should do now? Can Titus Hardy even die during that? I'm not sure. I thought for sure he would get killed at that shot aimed at the lieutenant, but it was Glenn. Any idea what I should do now? Judging by the sight of you, he looks at your bandages. I'd suggest crawling into bed with a bottle of whiskey in one hand and a big tit in the other. <laughs> Jesus, Titus. <laughs> oh, God. Monica. Yeah, right. Of course. Yeah, go pay Monica a visit in Jamrock. She's got a knack for making men forget about their worries. Biggest pair of milkers in all of Ravishaw. Hell, you both look like you could use some feminine company right now. Thank you for your advice, Eugene. And you too, Elaine. I do always appreciate a good use of the expression milkers. <laughs> good God. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Bonaclard. Titus' response is completely unironic. You're all right in my book. So long, fellas. Be good so I don't have to come back here again. Take care, coppers, he says with a warm smile. You two look after yourselves now. Death passed on you today. But men don't get that lucky twice. He nods to you and then to the lieutenant. Copo Loco. And the, uh, normal cop, I guess. Good luck in Jamrock. Scars make the best tattoos, they say. Thanks for getting involved, guys. Not a lot of cops would step in that line of fire, but you did. 5 XP. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back, I got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard, hardy boy, copper. Esprit de corps, easy success. And Titus Hardy himself would make a good officer. That man was born to lead. The RCM could really use a man like you, Titus. Think about it. Bye, Titus. Fuck it, let's say it. I will, Capo. That's a promise. He puts his can down. Now, Scoot, because the hardy boy's got some mourning and drinking to do. Take it easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. This town needs you on your feet. Good point, Bonaclard. The hardy, hardy looks at his beer. We'll keep the volume under 12% tonight. Man. Oh, look, we can talk to Elaine. 
individually. Hey, it's you again. I've been thinking about it, and you know what? We're both cops. This city is big enough for two cops. He smiles more than a bit drunk now. Okay, three cops. Me, you, and your little friend here. He looks at the lieutenant. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I guess. Sure. All right, I was just clicking on him. Okay. Wow, weird. I would have never gotten that. He gives you a quick two-finger salute. <laughs> Shit, all right. Sure. Let's go over here. Hmm. Yep, everything clear from in here. I wonder what happened to the cook. Maybe he got the fuck out of here, right? Shit. I fucking would. All right. Good lord. Let's take a look at these big letters, huh? Oh. <sighs> Praise de toi. Good lord. Huh. Let's click. Is that blood or is that from the graffito? Oh, hang on. I need to take a quick drink here in real life. Sorry. All right. Sorry about that. One day I will return to your side. Eh, close enough. <laughs> The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. Looks like Cindy the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his finger. Looks like it, yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. I smell heavy fuel oil. And blood. Some of it even is even yours. Interfacing easy success. Heavy fuel oil? Isn't that flammable? What are you trying to imply, Fingers? Nope, nope, no, 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 bad idea. What are you trying to imply, Fingers? New task, light the graffito on fire with a burning cigarette. You could... Buy some smokes, light up a ciggy, and throw it in there. You know, just to see what happens. See if it's flammable. It's better that way. Safer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should I do that? Light the graffito on fire with a burning cigarette. What it says on the can. <laughs> Jesus. We can't really do that, can we? That seems fucking wild. Good lord. Hey, how about you, you poor fucking bastard? Do you have any takes? Mon dieu, officer. It is worse than I thought. Believe me, I know all about that kind of pain. I've had heat trouble for the past week. He looks at your wounds. Oh, baby, it's time to slow down. Anything I can do to assist you? He smiles apologetically. Eh, bye for now. Alright. Shit. Hmm. Oh, look. Huh. I guess part of me assumed that uh, Tommy Lehome would be gone, but yeah, all the vehicles are still stuck here, aren't they? Especially with the harbor now in, like, ultra lockdown. Okay. Anything that we can do inside of the motor carriage? Similar stuff. Should we make a call? Oh, we can. This is Precinct 57. The operator greets you through the static. How may I assist you? Precinct 57, we've been attacked. I repeat, Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi and... Something is wrong. Only static hisses through the speaker. Hello? No reply. Only the mindless drone of static crawling through the air. It's been this way for a while now. The lieutenant shrugs. My guess is the Union is listening in on our conversations and jamming outward communications to protect themselves from Krennel. 
It only happens when someone mentions the attack. The rest is unaffected. Our best bet is to carry on like nothing happened. That is, if we don't want us cut off the grid completely. Isn't that dangerous? No more dangerous than stepping between three armed mercenaries and eight Union men, I hope. He glances over his shoulder. 5 XP. I don't like it either, but that's the way it is. The streets seem safe enough to me. If anything, taking out the mercs made things calmer, for now. He flicks off the radio. Silence. You can try calling again. Just don't mention the tribunal. And remember, they're listening in. Half-Light, easy success. They're shutting you up, silencing you, silencing you. Don't fucking drop your guard. Perception hearing, medium success. Everything sounds okay. No drumbeat of total war yet. If anything, everything sounds too okay. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers. Oh shit, okay, let's give them a call. Well, no, because there won't be anything new, will there? Alright, close the door. It's just if we want to wrap up old shit. I see. Cleverly done. Cleverly handled. Okay. Should we check in with Kuno real quick? Hey, kid. Everyone says you started crying in the middle of a firefight and then bled like a pig. I guess that was cool. He shrugs. Who's saying that? People! They say you kind of died for a moment. Is that his voice? Then you came... That that you let your shit out already. But then you came back. So I guess that's what's cool now. Just don't think because you got your half... Because you got half your dick shot off. That's an invalid... That you're an invalid now. Invalid now. Kuno's going to treat you different. Kuno doesn't reward weakness. He says, looking at your pathetic limp. It's business as usual with Kuno. Kuno's cold like that. His accent just changed massively right there. <laughs> Pain threshold, trivial success. Feels good for some reason. Should we buy the fucking pants? It's, it's still a quest that we have, right? Yeah, buy phone pants from Kuno. Fuck it, I'm buying them. I'm buying the pants with the last of my money. Or should I buy a book? Should I buy a book or pants? I don't fucking know. Hmm. Book or pants? Oh dear. I'm not sure. Hmm. Fuck it, let's buy the pants. Why not? Item gained phone modular track pants. Kuno unzips his jacket again and pulls the pants out of the plastic wrapping. Here, pig! We fall now, performance buddies! Task complete, buy phone pants from Kuno. 10 XP, level up. Kuno can already see you soaring through the air like a fucking eagle! He looks at you with pride. Pig's in Kuno's debt now, money debt! Rhetoric, medium success. Money debt doesn't mean anything. He's just saying words. You're not in his debt. Okay, I'm off. Oh. Watch out, pig! It's a dangerous world out there! But Kuno's got his eyes on you! What's that supposed to mean? Kuno starts doing the I got my eyes on you gesture repeatedly. Who knows? Huh. Okay. What do you have to say? Anything new? Alright. Walk away. We never really figured anything out about her so far, right? I don't know. Oh, hey, that has an orb over it. Okay. Should we go over and look at that? Maybe. Let's see. How are these pants? The nice thing about these pants is that they're pants that we can wear that give us a bonus to Savoir Faire rather than reducing it. Right? God, but they look nightmarish on us. <laughs> Falm modular track pants. Plus one savoir faire. Spacious crotch slash liquid fit. Plus one physical instrument. Performance unlimited. 
entry level entry level fawn modular track pants meant to get the urban athletes started down the fawn path labels say hydrophobic 100% simon tech simon simon tech that that's not how you say that is it that can't be how you, how you read that and fawn marova lab creating an air of pseudo scientific mystery around these pants they feel rubbery and futuristic to touch okay Man, hopefully Idiot Doom Spiral is still out there. We can show him the jacket. Good lord. Okay. Over here, should we check in with Plaisance? We're just checking in with everyone. <gasps> the dice person. The dice maker. We need to check in with her as well. We need to check in with fucking everybody I can remember. Good lord. All right. Yeah. It has to be done. Plaisance, what's up? Oh my god, things have gotten out of hand. I thought the psychic stuff was bad, but the crime, it's even worse. I haven't been able to come to work for three days. The shop has been locked, no sales, gangbangers running around, shooting everyone. I know I shouldn't have bought a shop in this ghetto. Uh, I'm the one who got shot here, ma'am. Say nothing, stare at her. I got shot! Oh my god! Even the police can't take care of all this! Just look at that limp! Someone should do something about this! She rubs her pendant between two fingers, thinking. Maybe I should close the bookstore and open a psychic studio. Yes! She nods to herself. It makes sense! Crime is the sixth element, you see. The darkest element. I could teach people to protect themselves against bad energies and to fight crime. Nod. Sounds like a plan. Life must go on, after all. Honestly, I'm not sure what to think of it. A psychic studio. This is even worse than a bookstore in Marnay's. No, she should do it. It's, it's close to, like, her passions, right? She should definitely do it. Right? I mean... It probably will be run into the ground, but the bookstore probably will be run into the ground too. At least, at least she'll run into the ground doing what she loves, right? That's my reasoning. Nah, it sounds like a plan. Life must go on after all. Yes, what Marnay's really needs is more vigilantes roaming the streets. Exactly! It's a brilliant idea! Thank you, officer! I'm going to start drawing up business plans right away! In the meantime, do buy the books. As many as you can. They won't be here for much longer. Determination shines in her eyes. Is there anything else I can help you with? Farewell for now, book peddler. Also, my fucking pants. Ugh, I forgot. Alright. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Okay, see you around. No impact on her. All right, do you think the dice maker saw any of it? I'm assuming yes, right? Let's see. Oh, I've got three bullets. I didn't even... I totally forgot. We never even used them in combat. Huh. Yet. What if we use them again for something? Oh, God. I do have my gun. Hmm. Okay. Where's our light? There we go. Let's get through here. Check in on the dice maker, right? All right. Let's see. Dice maker, did you find anything? Wouldn't it be wild if we found Suna back here? Okay. Creepy shit. Hey, no more weird creepy music either. Oh no, it's coming back. Okay. What if she's not here anymore? Oh, there she is. Hey. Nope, nothing. Okay. Maybe they didn't expect me to go back over here. Fair enough. Well, guess what, game? I'm gonna try and talk to every character I can fucking remember. And you know what else, game? I'm probably gonna forget one. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna remember all of them. But I'm gonna try. Alright, let's get on out of here. There we go. 
So we've got the apartment buildings and stuff that we can do. Cindy. Joyce is gone, right? We definitely need to speak with Cindy. Let's see. Let's also equip our bag again, just in case more litter has manifested. All right. Here we go. Good. Sorry, taking another drink. Actually, now that I think of it, yeah. Maybe we call it for now, yeah. Good lord, look at the time. Yeah, when next we come back, we'll continue poking around, looking around, uh, chatting up with people after the big fucking events. Maybe we'll light this shit on fire? I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. That said, I don't really have a burning cigarette, and I spent all my fucking dough on stupid pants for Kuno. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Until next time, please take care of each other.